happy day 10. Today is day 10 of my postpartum weight loss journey. I am Leslie Erbis, dietitian and personal trainer, and I'm here today to talk to you about how yesterday went, how I went out to eat and I have no guilt, how today is going to go, and to finish discussing the last thing you need to know about your whole grains. So first, yesterday went really good. I ate well during the whole day because I knew I was going to go out with my friends to Mexican. Yes, I said Mexican, I ate Mexican, I had a margarita, I had some chips and cheese, and I had a taco. And you know what? I am not going to be anywhere off today. I am going to be okay. My diet is still on track. I'm still following what I'm supposed to do. You wanna know why? Because that's a part of life. And you should be able to go out to eat with your friends and enjoy your life without having to feel guilty or worried about what your weight says or worried if the weight on the scale is gonna go up so Weight Watchers gonna get you or worried that you ruined your keto so now you have to start all over in ketosis. Stop living by those crazy things and start living your life based on what you wanna do. You wanna go get Mexican with friends? Go get it. Just learn how to eat it right and not have to have the guilt factor. That's where I come in. So I actually went out with a couple of my clients last night who did excellent themselves. They're seeing results and they're only about 10 days in themselves. They started when I did and they feel good and they're learning and they're gonna be able to do this for themselves for the rest of their life, not need me, not need some Weight Watchers and not spend billions of dollars on an industry that just keeps making more money because they're gonna know and they're not gonna ever go back to regular dieting again. So that's how awesome my day was yesterday. Today looks like it's gonna be another fabulous day. Just me and my kiddos. I already have dinner defrosting. We're having chicken sausage. Yes, I said sausage. It is healthy. It tastes delicious. Lily loves it. We're gonna have that and some veggies and probably some pasta because that girl loves her pasta. So anyways, I can always fill you in on some of the meals that I'm doing and I would love to give you some recipes and things like that. All you have to do is shoot me your email and you can get a recipe every Friday. Total side note. Anyways, let's get back to those hold grains. So, as we discussed on Monday and Tuesday, day eight and day nine, exactly what you need to look for for whole grains. We talked about the ingredients, we talked about the number of grams. If you didn't catch those, go back, watch those videos. And then last but not least, today, as you're looking at this label, I want you to note the dietary fiber. Dietary fiber has to be three grams or more in order for this product to be very good for you. So if you're looking at rice, cereal, pasta, crackers, cakes, cookies, anything, we really want that fiber content to be over three grams. So when you're looking at that label, make sure to look for that number two. So that gives you three things that you have to look for on your label. And that's what I want you to focus on. Those three things to tell you if you have a good grain or a bad grain. If you didn't catch the other two videos, you gotta go back to listen for those few things so that way you can choose a good whole grain. In the next two days, we're really gonna decipher carbs. Tomorrow, we're gonna talk about good and bad. And Friday, we're gonna talk about what a good portion is for a typical 150 pound person. If you'd like to know what your carb portion is, if you'd like to know how to eat carbs and still lose weight, that's where I come in for your free assessment and I'd love to help you. On a totally different note, as you hear Larry wailing in the background, he grunts a lot in his sleep, as I've discussed before. And because of that, I don't get very good sleep. I do know that sleep can hinder weight loss. And next week, we're gonna discuss some of the metabolism things, sleep, and other things that can affect if you're gonna lose weight, how much weight you're gonna lose, and how you're gonna lose it. So stay tuned for all those things, as today is just day 10, and I plan on going at least 30 days or more to show you what I'm doing. I hope you have a fit and fabulous Wednesday.